On Tuesday, the 23rd of August, 2022, a service of songs was held at the Haven Events Center, Ikeja, Lagos, in honor of the late Chief Mrs. Titi Lolao Lukemi Nelson, who passed on to eternal glory on the 17th of July, 2022, at the age of 66. Chief Lukemi Nelson was born in Lagos on the 9th of February, 1956. She attended Anglican Girls Grammar School, Ijebude, for her secondary education. She also attended the School of Nursing at the University College Hospital, Ibado, where she qualified as a registered nurse and midwife. She got an MBA in Financial Management and a Diploma in Law from the Lagos State University, Ojo. In the 1980s, Chief Mrs. Ulukemi Nelson joined the now-defunct National Republican Convention, NRC, during the regime of General Ibrahim Babangida. She was the NRC senatorial candidate of Lagos West Senatorial District in 1992. In 1998, she contested for the Keja Federal Constituency seat in the House of Assembly under the UNCP. She won the election, but it was truncated by the death of General Sani Abacha. In 1999, she joined the Alliance for Democracy, AD, and from 1999 to 2003, she served as the Lagos State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation during the tenure of Senator Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. She also served as the Women Leader of the Lagos State Chapter of the All Progressives Congress APC before she was made the Southwest Women Leader of the APC. Chief Kemi Nelson was the only female serving member of the Lagos State Governor's Advisory Council, GAC. She was the executive director of operations of the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund and at the time, she headed the Ministry of Establishment, Training and Job Creation. Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson, known for her signature low-cut hairstyle, unique headgear and fashion sense, was married to Mr. Deyemi Nelson and the union was blessed with three children. In attendance at the service of songs were dignitaries like the wife of the governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mississippi Jokeson Ulu, former governor of Ogun State, Otumbak Benga Daniel, chairman, Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, the Lagos State Commissioner for Water Resources, Honorable Tunji Bello, represented the presidential candidate of the APC, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, Wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat. Former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Chief Mrs. Adejo Keori Lukwe Adefulure, and the host of others. The service of songs commenced with an opening prayer, conducted by Venerable Abiodo Omoyelu. It was followed by a worship session led by the Voices of Zion. The first Bible reading was taken by Adekemi B. Croft Adeola, daughter of the deceased before the hymn, How Great Thou Art, was sang. The second and third Bible readings were taken by Tesho Jawando and Femi Lugbeson. The biography of the late chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson was read afterwards. The Adin Kalashi Yori Band and BJ Sachs entertained guests with melodious music. One, 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 one. 
In a tribute session, friends and family members described the deceased as a noble and strong-willed woman who believed in the importance of prayers. They said she was a true lover of God who had the fear of God and impacted the lives of many positively. A special message from the APC presidential candidate Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu was read by Honorable Tunji Bello, the Lagos State Commissioner for Water Resources. In the message, he described the deceased as a rare gem who lived a life of loyalty and truth, even in politics. Then we now see the amount of transition from the opposite theater. We can ask you to the chamber of the Lagos State Executive Council. It's an entry for the New York. And it's very sweet to read the story of our young ladies, who are so good at the hills. They move their case on the what happens when the opportunity meets the parish. Many might have forgotten that in the senatorial election of 1992, when I protested on the part of the Social Democratic Party, this great woman, she was Nelson, was my opponent from the Reverend National Republican Convention. But it is the will of God that we will meet our work together. And I will be instrumental to appointing her, the Commissioner for two ministries at different times. The Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation and the Ministry of Responsibility training and job creation. Since then, she has been a, a pillar of support, a confidence, and a dependable ally. Kenny has gone. Where will he down? I wanted her to match with the women behind her to our certain the presidential approach. But God has set her designs. From God she came, to God she has done. Kenny will fear to be going in place of glory. We thank God for it. That was straight to me. Thank you. In the sermon delivered by Pastor B.C. Olowonyo of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Lagos Province 19, he spoke about life as vanity and urged everyone to have the fear of God at all times. James 4 and 14, James 4 and 14, the Bible says, you do not know what will happen tomorrow. And for those of us who are here, we hardly know what will happen tomorrow. 
And so he says, for what is life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. There are two times in the life of every man or every woman that you will be oblivious of. The time of your birth, you hardly knew how the birth took place. The time of your death, you are not likely to know, even when some people do have premonitions, but they are merely premonitions. You will not know the exact time. And that's why when the Bible says, teach us to number our days, it's basically encouraging us that for every time we have the opportunity to sleep and wake up, we need to understand that it's been the gift of God. Incidentally, however important, influential, or reputable you are, we are like babies in sleep. Indeed, we hardly know when the sleep comes to us. So sleep indeed is like a little death. And thanks be to God who wakes us up every morning. Indeed, when you sleep and you wake up, it's a miracle by itself. And it's got to be understood in that manner. The sermon was followed by beautiful worship songs, special prayers for the Nelson family, conducted by Pastor Shegwa Kindele, and the vote of thanks by Pastor Yemisi Tinumbu. On Wednesday, the 24th of August, 2022, the service of songs for the late Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson continued at the Haven Event Center, Ikeja GRA, Lagos. The service, which was organized by the Archbishop Vining Memorial Cathedral Anglican Communion, was well attended by dignitaries like Senator Luremi Tinumbu, Senator Florence Itagiwa, wife of the Governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodun, former APC Chairman, Elder Ajomale, former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Chief Femi Pedro Alaja Abimbola Jakonde, the Chairman and CEO of BISCON Communications, Prince Dr. B.C. Olatilo, and the host of others. The service commenced with a tribute session, as tributes were delivered by family, friends, and associates of the deceased, who noted that she was a philanthropist, a cheerful and courageous woman who loved God and did the things of God till her demise. She loved the church. She loved those that are the children of God. That's what I know about King. Our colleagues are here mournful for this day. We will mourn her for quite some time. But as a Christian that I am, I will mock how we reserve with thanks to God because he said, for everything we should give thanks unto him. And that's what it is. I said that the Lord gave the children, the fortitude and the husband, the friends, everybody that loved Kelly, God should give you the fortitude to bear this very painful, unbearable loss. Thank you. Uh, this one. I need this. I want you to be there for my wife's uh, students and so on. She said, okay, I should call, I should call me back to consult her there and give that day. So the baby day was free. And uh, she came. Not only did she come, she came with, you know, she's a politician. She came with her people and she came with kids for the children. She gave them the pep talk and all and all played with them. It was an entire sport event anyway. And she was involved. She now behaved like a kid amongst them and so on. And people were impressed with how this big woman now coming to their level. And I really want to appreciate God in her life that she did not allow her status to rub over her. Thank you, sir. She was a very good mother, a very good wife, a very devoted person. Does not know that I'm Muslim or a Christian. I can say she's a very free mother. No, she's a national mother. And we we'll always remember her forever and ever. Amen. I mean, it's going to be difficult without you, as you were the matriarch of our family. You handled it so effortlessly, even with your very busy schedule. You knew how to give everyone their one-on-one -on -one time with you and make them feel very important. 
Mommy, I am happy you were able to witness what you wanted the most for us. For that, we are grateful to God Almighty for keeping you to witness this joy and blessing. I know you fought the good fight as you were very resilient, very brave and determined to the very end. But guess what, Mommy? You won. I will make sure I tell your grandchildren what a brave, determined, courageous woman you were, who stood where men stood and excelled. Lagos State will never forget you. Nigeria will never forget you. Because no one can ever replace you, the one and only the Yeshua of the universe. It is a privilege and honor to share the title of Mrs. Nelson with you. The tributes were followed by hymn or renditions by the Archbishop Vining Memorial Cathedral Choir. The sermon was delivered by Venerable Ebenezer Dewali, who preached about life as a gift. He urged everyone to draw lessons from the life of the deceased and noted that the deceased, Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson, fought a good fight, lived a good life, and finished courageously. If we draw from all the testimonies we had, this is the summary of the life of Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson. Nelson. She fought a good fight. She finished her course courageously. She kept the faith. She stood for what she believed. And she stood courageously. And I can tell you with complete confidence that this is a picture of her life. The service of songs ended with prayers conducted by the Bishop, Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion, Right Rev. James Odedeji. The funeral service for Chief Mrs. Titi Lola Olukemi Nelson took place on Thursday, the 25th of August, 2022, at the Archbishop Vining Memorial Cathedral in Ikeja GRA, Lagos. In attendance were the Governor of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Olushola Sonolu, the Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodo, former Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Amosu, Senator Oluremi Tinumbu, wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat, former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Otsumba Femi Pedro, Senator Lauren Nimbe Mamura, the Chairman of Vation Media Group, Basharu Dele Momodu, Senator Musli Obanikoro, Senator Tokumbo Abiru, the Governor of Plateau State and Chairman, Northern Governors Forum, Governor Solomon Lalong, Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Mr. Sunday Dari, the National Secretary, APC, Senator Iyolao Mishiri, and a host of others. The service commenced with the reception of the remains of Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson into the church premises, accompanied by family members and friends. There was the reading of the epistle and hymns by the Archbishop Vining Memorial Cathedral Choir. The sermon was delivered by the Bishop, Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion, Bishop James Solushalao Dedeji, who spoke on the topic, We Have Hope. 
He noted that the hope we have as Christians is that even when we close our eyes in death, life continues. He urged everyone to live a life that pleases God. This woman, she has done her best in the political arena of our nation, in the church life, in the community. She has been able to put smiles in so many people's faces. And if anybody will miss her, I will also miss her because she was a ministry helper. What can we just say is to accept what had happened and believe that that has been the plan of God for her. And many times, if not all the times, it's good to leave the stage when the ovation is the loudest. May our gentle and smiling soul rest in perfect peace. The consolation I have is that we shall meet again where passing will be no more. So whether here or there, what is important is that we all remain rapturable. Special prayers were conducted by Bishop James Solusha Dediji, after which the communion was administered. The Ladies' Christian League and the OPPS group paid their last respects to the late Chief Mrs. Titi Lalao Lukemi Nelson. In the remarks of the Governor of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Olushola Songulu, he noted that the deceased was a very respectful and noble woman and stressed that the entire world is going through difficult times, so we need to be grateful to God at all times. He urged everyone to be united as that was what the late Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson always stood for. Today is not a day of money. It's been a celebration of life. It's been a time that we have all come here to celebrate an icon of our time, to celebrate a woman that means so many things to so many people, but more importantly, a woman that has lived well, that has touched men and women, that has crossed borders, that has impacted meaningfully in the lives of everyone that he has had contact with. Chief Mrs. Titi Lyo, Titi Lola Olukemi Nelson, a.k.a. Yeyeshewa, means so many things to so many of us. And you can see the multitude of heads that are here today. And so for us today, it's truly really to take that part of her that we'll be using. This ceremony is not for the dead, it's actually for the living. She's played a role, she's run a race, and I can dare say she's run a beautiful race. Her husband is here, and I know that a wife has been a worthy partner to him. The children are here, and I know their mom has been an outstanding mother to all of them. The Hallelujah Chorus was sang afterwards as the funeral service was brought to an end with a withdrawal hymn. There was a grand reception at the Harbour Point Event Centre in Victoria Island, Lagos. Guests at the reception were the Governor of Ikiti State, Governor Kayo De Faemi, wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat, wife of the Governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodu, Chief Mrs. Folashade Okoya, Chief Benga Obasa, and a host of others. 
It was merriment all the way as everyone celebrated the late Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson till the end. <laughs> Chief Mrs. Titi Lolao Lukemi Nelson left memories in the hearts of many and will never be forgotten. Biscon Communications commiserates with the Nelson family and pray that God grants her eternal rest as she lies peacefully in the bosom of our Lord. Amen.